got hit. Oh my gosh, I just got hit. Bolt of lightning slams into wet ground near a church youth group on a central Utah trail. Everyone survived, but seven teens were taken to a hospital. And tonight, some are speaking exclusively to KSL 5. All of those involved are members of a youth group with the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. They were on a trail when the storm moved in. It happened around Salina Canyon in Sevier County. New specialist Garna Mejia spoke exclusively with members of that group about that scary moment. Garna? Yeah, Deanie, Mike, you know, these teens, they've uh, been released from, you know, any doctor care. They were telling us that their symptoms are more like headaches and ringing in their ears. But tonight they're really uh, focused on and their thoughts are with their friends who suffered just much more serious injuries. They were literally shocked to the ground. Well, Mom, I would just like to thank you for signing me up for this. Dozens of youth on a six-mile walk near Salina Canyon in Sevier County, not ready for the weather to change. Dude, Mom, what is this? Peyton Bailey and her friends were on trek with their church group when the unexpected shocked them. I just got hit. I just got hit. Oh, my gosh, I just got hit. When it happened, I saw the light, and then it just felt like a baseball or something hit the top of my head. When the lightning struck, I think it was so powerful that like it felt like a whole weight was put on our head. Like it felt like something hit us. But we were wearing hats and we think the metal on our hats attracted it. A few feet in front of her, Peyton saw some of her friends fall to the ground. And I fell and I was on the ground and I remember getting back up and I just saw him on the floor seizing. It was such a weird feeling. I can't even describe it. According to the Sevier County Sheriff's Office, some 50 youth in the group from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints felt the lightning shock, though it appears no one was struck directly. You no, know, my mom and dad are, were also with a different company and they had a boy just completely fall down. The Sheriff's Office says the wet ground acted as a conductor. Seven youth were rushed to local hospitals and two were flown to primary children's with serious symptoms, including numbness and partial paralysis in their arms or legs. I just think I just felt really shaken after everything. The rest of the teens were checked out by doctors. Tonight, their prayers are with their friends. We know it's still in the scary moments where the kids were still like making sure they're okay but we really saw God's hand. And you guys, tonight, just uh, speaking with those teens, we're hearing that they're also, you know, parents are being told to keep a really close eye on them in coming days. There's talks of uh, mental health services to make sure that everyone is emotionally able to process everything that happened. And the girls were also saying that they were grateful for all the parents, the church leaders, first responders that just got them out of there, got them to safety. They said the ambulances and that emergency care was there within minutes. I'll send it back to you. That they all survived was really a blessing. Garna, thank you. KSL was the first to tell you about the lightning strikes. We're a push alert on our KSL Plus app. Be sure to download the app and be first to know when news breaks in your neighborhood.